Hello, this is Eric from labofcoding.com. In the last video, we introduced the Django messaging framework and we use it to show notification to our users after they have created or uh, updated the to do. In this video, we're going to pick up from that and we are going to add custom validation in our forms. So for now, if someone enters uh, an invalid data on the form, an error is displayed to them, telling them the exact error that has happened. So we can add our own custom validation in forms. So we are going to do that in this video. So, but before we go to that, if we look at our nav element, up to now we've been displaying some dummy links. So we can uh, remove the dummy links and add our own links. So if we go to the base template where we have the nav links, so we can remove the active. So let's have the Django URL tag. So that will be pointing to the index view. So let's say this is home. We can drop the disabled one. And let's another add another one which will be pointing to the to-do create view. So let's give the name we gave to that view which is to do create. So I think we can have these two for now. We will update them. We will add more later on. Let's refresh the page. Uh, so we have not changed the title for the to do create. So let's say here, create a new to do. Let's save that. Yeah, so we can click that and it will take us, that and it will take us home. Cool. Django has a way that you can add custom validation to your uh, forms you can uh, add a validation on a given field or on the form itself for example if you want to compare two uh, fields and then add a custom validation on that on that so let's say for example we want to restrict users to only five five words on the to-do title so the way to go about that so by the uh, by convention the django validation methods uh, if you want to add a validation method on a field you should add a method on the form class beginning with clean underscore and the name of the field. In this case, we want to add validation on the title field. So we'll say clean title. Then it takes self. So when Django is doing the validation, after validating each field individually, and after the validating the form as a whole, it look for methods on the form class which begin with clean underscore fill them and then it will add use those validation on the field and if it the, your validation fails the error will be displayed to the user so by this time uh, when the clean underscore method is being called the clean data dictionary is already populated so it means by this time your title has passed uh, Django's validation so you can access it using self.clean data and then you can add your custom validation on it so let's first of all let's split the word um, the title into words using the split function so that will be title dot split so this one will split it, it into a list of words so let it split it where there is a space so that one will give us the list of words so we can check if the length of the words is greater than five we can raise our validation error so we can access that one on the forms module so that will be forms uh, sorry we raise forms dot validation error and let's pass the error message saying the title so it should be five or less words and then if it's less than uh, five words we can return the title so let's have that one when Django when you raise the validation error uh, the Django system will catch all those validation error and adds the error message to one to the errors and then we can use that one to display to the user so let's go to the browser 
and let's have more than five words here. Yes, that is one, two, three, four, five. That is more than five words. So let's try to save that. Yeah, you can see the error is being shown to the user and uh, Django Crispy form has rendered it correctly under the title. So another validation that we can add on the due date, we can say that uh, the due date cannot be in the past. That is, that not, it does not make sense to have a to do which will be completed in the past. past. So let's add that validation. So just like we did for the title, we'll say clean due date past self. And then we can access uh, the due date from the clean data dictionary on the form instance. So this will be due date. Let's save that. So we can import the data module the date module we can say from date time import date and so let's have a check here let's say if uh, if due date is less than that is in the past is less than today so we'll say date dot today we will raise the forms dot validation error We'll say uh, due date cannot be in the past. Otherwise, we will just return the due date. Yeah, so let's save that. Let's go to the form and let's try to add a date uh, in the past. Today is 10th, so let's say 3rd. Sorry, seems like it did not work. So this is 2071. Let's put 2018 there. So let's see if, yeah, you can see that the due date field has been flagged, having an error. For some reason, the gauge module does not display the errors on the due date field, but uh, I guess you get the point now. So that is how you uh, add custom validation on your forms. So the next thing you may how you may want to add some customizations on your forms. For example, you may want to change uh, the labels, or you may want to add some help text. So we can do that. So let's say, for example, we want to change uh, the labels. So on the model form, usually you have some you add some mappings uh, which are dictionaries of the new values that you want to change. For example, the labels will have a label dictionary. The keys of that dictionary will be the field names of the fields that you want to change. So let's say you want to change the label of the done field to something like is this task done. Yeah, so if let's refresh the form, you can see that the label has changed to this task done. So you can uh, change the uh, labels in the labels dictionary so you can add another one and so forth. And then let's say you want to add some help text to the user to just uh, help text which will help them to maybe describe what the field wants. So that one also has a dictionary help text. help text and it has the same formula so you pass the field name uh, of the field you want to add a, he add a help text on so let's add the help text on the due date so let's say let's say something like date when task is expected to be done Let's go to the browser. Let's refresh that one. Yeah, you can see that a help text has been added on the due date field. So that is how you uh, can customize the labels, uh, the help text, and even you can um, change the widgets that are used to display your um, your form fields. So there is a widget dictionary that you can pass and then change the widget that is being used. So that's it for now. We'll pick it from this in the next video. Thanks for watching.